Hello and welcome back to my Twitch live streaming of KSB's Hard Career Mode. What you're about to see was recorded on July the 1st and has been edited for YouTube. Please follow me on Twitch, the vast majority of what I stream will not be uploaded to YouTube. My current KSB streaming times are Saturdays and Sundays at 11am Pacific, 6pm GMT. I will stream other games on Wednesdays and Fridays at 4pm Pacific, 11pm GMT. Even if you can't catch the stream time, Twitch retains the recording of the stream for two weeks so you can watch it on demand, though some streams may be muted due to the background music used. With that, on to my commentary from July the 1st. So just continuing uh, career mode for a bit, it's rather hot right now where I am and so probably not going to be streaming for too long today, but uh, I'll give it a go. Anyway, uh, so we've got a lot of stuff going on, but uh, mainly I guess we start off with Minmus again. Barlin's Del Derelict. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have to rescue a Kerbal, too. Okay, so we have this Kerbal around Kerbin to rescue. I guess that could be a thing. Now, the question is about our little, um,. Space plane. We had a new one. Let's see, the nuke plane. I guess Firefly is what we call it now. It seems to be a little bit underpowered on the... on the whole. I don't know if this is good enough to get our Kerbal back. Any recommendations on that? Maybe some better engines instead of these twitches, but really for their size, they're pretty good. We also, we, I guess we don't really need RCS to rescue a Kerbal. Well, to rescue a Kerbal, we really don't need the Clampatron either. But I don't think the Clampatron is that heavy. Oh, 0.6. Actually, that's, well, that's with the mod propellant. How heavy is the mob propellant? 0.3. So it's 0.3 right now. I don't know. I'm, I'm not feeling that this is the best way to rescue the Kerbal. <laughs> I think I should just send a capsule up to rescue the Kerbal real quick just to get a Kerbal down. What do you guys think? Do we do it with a space plane? Or do we just uh, send a quick capsule up, get the Kerbal down, and see if it's a scientist or not? Well, while we're thinking about that, I'm going to do some Minma science, just so that we can uh, rack up that science. Yeah, the mob prop is out. Uh, we don't have any mob prop, out, prop in there. Capsule. We don't have much science. Yeah, let me quickly do Minmus. Our goal is to get the Kerbal from orbit so that we have him for free in order to do some more science in the lab. So that's the plan there. Okay, so back with Cochrane Station here. How are things going? Uh, do we, uh, we... We're not really racking up that much science, are we? I'm not too sure this whole mobile processing lab... I mean, it's gonna take a long time to get some science done. I, I don't know. But then again, we can transmit it anyway, so, uh, Bob seems worried. Bob, uh, we're just gonna transfer you back down to the surface. Hey, Grisbiz! Uh, to do some more science. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Transfer. And then we need to rescue that Kerbal after that. So, just a quick, uh, jaunt with Bob Kerman back to the surface. I need more data in there to process. Uh, I've got 464 out of 500. I will, uh, a second scientist I accept, but um, maybe we need better scientists too. I need to bring Bob back so he becomes more experienced, but anyway, uh, let's let's just get some uh, science this way. Uh, you don't have that much fuel though, Bob. Let's, let's dock you back up and get you some fuel. Hey Mikko! Uh, hold on, let's uh, get some distance from the port so that it resets, and then I'll get you docked up so you have more fuel. That should be good enough for a reset, right? Okay. 
So uh, let's refuel them if we have fuel. Okay, we do. Uh, hold on. Um, I remember we can select many, many things. So let's select many, many things. Hold on. Maybe these are still full. Yeah, they are. Well, some of them are. Okay, so I'll click that. I think we haven't landed anything in this this area here. Okay, we're going around this way, so I'm gonna plot to descend into that area. Uh, maybe a little bit looser. So I had one vote for a capsule for the rescue, and maybe we should just have a very standard uh, rescue pod, rescue vehicle sort of thing. Something reliable. And something that, more importantly, does not take too much time. Uh, time, is, time is very important in this game. <laughs> Don't give you GMT, that's black magic. Uh, no, black magic is UTC, how we can have a universal time when we're just... Uh, tiny corner of the planet and that time only applies to one tiny sliver of that planet, I have no idea. Oh, don't bump into the station, very important. Okay, we're leaving the station behind, good, good. Miss Universe Contest, or a number of other universal things that people claim are universal, which uh, uh, I sincerely doubt. The stock one? To bring Bob back? No. Why, why, why are you... Come on, what's the point of playing the game if I'm gonna use StockCraft? I didn't even know there was a StockCraft called Kerbal X. That's how much I use StockCraft. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, don't, I don't mean that fast. I meant faster than a space plane. Space plane takes a long time to get up into the... Uh, into orbit. No, I, I meant something quick to fly, not quick to build, sorry. Uh... Didn't make myself clear there. I think uh, that's where I wanted to land. I think the planet's rotated. Well, moon's rotated a bit. Yeah. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, no flag there. Okay. We'll have to go like this. And like that. Yeah, not something fast to build, something fast to actually conduct the mission, is what I was looking for. Yep, yep. Once I build it once, we can use it all, you know, time and time again. It's, uh, so building is not a big deal. Okay, so again, we're just uh, quickly getting some science off of Minmus again. And then we'll do something else. Planning to rescue a Kerbal from around Kerbin because we're lacking scientists and I don't have the cash in order to hire them. And then after that, maybe I will uh, stop into my sandbox side and uh, show off what I'm planning to do in the sandbox series. Or at least what I'm working on right now. Since that's very much on my mind. This thing decelerates very, very slowly. Well, let's let's have some fake excitement by a music, shall we? I think we're gonna overshoot this part. Yeah, I don't know if I can decelerate fast enough to actually hit this one. Maybe I'll have to go for that one. We'll see. Okay, uh, physical or other time warp is probably useful here. Yeah, capsule and expendable launch vehicle. Yes, that would be the fastest mission sign. I could do with surface info. Uh, well, this is not the fastest sort of mission, but at least it's simple. Well, it's simple until I try and get Bob out, in which case EVAing him is not exactly the easiest, easiest thing for me. 
How weird is it that I find EVA more difficult than landing a plane? Well, while I'm waiting, maybe crew report? Oh, there's, a, there's an existing crew? Oh, we haven't transferred the data. Um, <laughs> I'm tempted to have him pop out and grab the data and pop back in so that I could do it properly. Oh, well, well, we'll just wait. Can get one on the way up again. Yeah, well, probably just standing on the ladder will do it. And probably we've already gotten it anyway, from orbit. Yeah, I could reconfigure uh, Kerbal Engineer, but I, I, I don't want to mess with it, really. I was just wondering the logic, that's all. Probably just because of space. Okay, there we go. Hey, Tusky. Okay, uh, let's see. Can we do... Uh, oh, stops. Why does he always scooch up? Okay, EVA in space just above Mimnus Flats. Okay, so we can keep that data. Okay, so uh, let's uh, take all the data there. And board. Okay, uh, crew report. From Miss Flats. Oh, we'll have to do crew report from up above it. Okay, uh, well, I don't know if the crew report is actually bio dependent. Okay, uh, we can transmit this one, right? Because I didn't do it again, like Mitko said last time. Okay, uh, so yeah, now crew report again, keep data. I, I, I don't think we're going to be converting it. I mean, uh, the science lab is full anyway. We might as well transmit as much as possible. Let, let me just review here. Uh, let's uh, transmit that one. It is biome dependent. It works. Okay. Okay. Keep data. Keep data. Keep data. Keep data. Uh, surface sample from Mid uh, Midwest Midlands. Yeah, transmit. We can't fit anything more in the science labs anyway. Bob has been eating the goo experiments? Ooh. Well, he looks happy. I don't know if that's the normal way to go if you have been eating experiments, but... Well, I mean, we can uh, pretend to get an EVA report here again. And board. Okay. But anyway, let's proceed. Uh, observe materials bay. Uh, keep data. Okay, keep going up, keep going up. I need you to grab the data. Collect oh, no, don't fall, don't fall. Uh, yeah. Collect data, and, oh, come on. I, I wanted you to restore that, man. He's a bit gassy, that's why he's going up. Because of the goo, because he ate the goo. Is that why? Okay. Okay, great. Now, observe mystery goo. Okay, uh, keep data, collect data, and restore. So yeah, I assume I don't have to do these twice because we really don't have any space Whoa, there he goes again. Um, no, 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 no. Um, uh, uh, come on, jetpack. Oh boy. So this is a glitch. I don't know what this glitch, glitch is about, but... Uh, don't go splat, don't go splat. It seems to get worse every time. I mean, it wasn't as bad last time. This time it was like crazy. Down, 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 down. No more hopping for you. Okay, log temperature. Grab that. Log seismic data. Grab that. 
these we'll have to do twice, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I guess we do have to do all of them twice, just so we get full value when we return with it. So, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, right, I wanted to board, transmit that stuff, and then do them again. Sorry for taking time on this like this, but I want to transmit... Transmit. Transmit. Make sure we have electric charge. <laughs> Get him some Pepto. They should have had that in the in the medikit or whatever they have on board. Surely they have some sort of medical kit. Okay. So we'll do these as well. Keep data. Keep data. Okay. Here we go again. It's not any of my other controllers, by the way. He's not scooching up because I've got some sort of misconfigured controller somehow. Uh, it's just him. Oh, and he's gonna... Come on. I want you to get up there and uh, forward, forward, forward. There we go. Okay, collect data, restore. Collect data, restore. Okay, now... There we go. Do the science before going on EVA, then only EVA to pick it up. I think I've done that, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, uh, take surface sample, keep EVA report, keep, and plant a flag. Bob is really gonna get some experience once he gets back. I think Jeb's gonna be jealous. Okay, on. Um, very good. Uh, Jib's going to be really jealous. Bad capitalization, but we'll go with it. All right, so let's review stored data. Let's get that EV report back. Keep, 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 keep. Uh, service sample we can do twice. Let's transmit this one and then do another service sample. Surely this is what they did on the, on the Apollo missions. <laughs> okay, here we go. Need a new lander with the Science Junior rotated 180 degree and ladder running. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. I guess it doesn't matter if they're facing the actual opening or not. Anyway, take surface sample, keep. Okay. Oh well, this time it let me grab the ladder. Okay, I think that takes care of everything here. Let's make sure that... I mean, we haven't to really... Well, we took a little bit of time. We are a little bit off from our our home base here. But, uh, yeah, I think we can launch instead of waiting for a whole day or anything. I mean, a whole Minmus day. Nice dinky ship. Well, it's the dinkiest. We've got uh, two ant engines to power it. Here we go. Oh, we're actually pretty low. I need to gain altitude, otherwise I got bumped into something. Well, there's full power with this. Oh, speaking of which, uh, th these aren't 
I need to move that so it doesn't conflict with uh, where the credit is. Small is beautiful. Yep. Especially when going large is not really an option. Give some RCS? Uh, well, yeah, I guess we could. There, RCS. Not that we need to, but... Going too high? No, no, no. As you can see, not, not that high at all. Okay, 1.1 kilometers away, I'll take it. There's our maneuver. Okay. Gravity loss is minimal for the flattest trajectory that doesn't crash into a mountain. Yep, pretty much. But you always have to take into consideration how the heck you're going to make your rendezvous. Do make sure you do that. And it is minimus. Saving fuel is not a not a particularly huge consideration right now. If we were talking about Earth and, you know, the real moon and all that, that would be a different thing. Oh, okay, okay, you guys. It's not like it's creating drag or anything. Okay, granted, the ladder sticking out was inelegant. I, I'll agree. Oh, we could probably land somewhere else and still get back up. Well, no, maybe... Well, with the RCS we could. Yes, it stands for the Elegant Design Bureau, and the Elegant Design Bureau ought not to have its ladder sticking out. Agreed. So, what I want to do is design a vehicle to quickly bring a Kerbal back from... on rescue from orbit. And also, probably the same vehicle ought to be able to bring uh, Bob back. Ah, that's not very good. Oh, uh, why don't I just use RCS to adjust it? Oh, uh, with one of those uh, little command chairs? Uh, no, I don't think I have. I was contemplating uh, trying to make like a really, really tiny plane. Uh, with the ant engine and one of those, uh, 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 an SSTO, but uh, didn't really get into that. I have no idea if it were. I think uh, if I tried to make an SSTO like that, it wouldn't be balanced because the Kerbals actually have mass when they are in those command chairs. Okay, where is the negative relative velocity vector? There it is. Okay, we'll just use RCS for this. Okay. Alright. You're guessing in that case their mass might just be... Uh, might be just added to the vessel like science instruments? I don't know, I think it actually shifts the center of mass. At least in previous versions it did. I don't know if the new version, it, uh, uh, it doesn't do that. And Kerbals are actually pretty dense. They, they actually weigh quite a bit for their size. Okay, your rescue a Kerbal craft cost just 7,158. You don't see why you would want to create something complicated to save a pittance. Uh, are you calling the Kerbal you're rescuing a pittance? Well, oh, you think 7,158 is expensive? Uh, you haven't seen some of the rescue craft I've made. <laughs> Mines can get much more expensive than that. Oh yeah, why don't we uh, turn the station, quote unquote station, not really a station, to face us. It's more of a science ship, this station. And I could do with some turning since its wrong side was facing the sun. 
Well, I mean, space plane... Uh, space plane just takes too long. We could do an SSTO that isn't a space plane. We could do a recoverable launch vehicle that uh, just all comes back down with the Kerbal inside. It's a little bit dangerous. Anyway, we'll see about that in the... I think we're just gonna go for the VAB in this case. I'm, I'm not... Uh, I, we, we, we can do space plane stuff uh, later in the stream. I'll show you what I'm doing in the sandbox uh, save. And that's a space plane. Seems rather large, a three-stager with the Reliance Harrier. Oh, no, that, that's not very large. They're very expensive. I mean, three engines is very expensive. We'll have to see whether using those three engines is more or less expensive than the actual fuel. I don't know. The fuel could easily be expensive as well. So it could be a trade-off. Oh, okay, there we go. We're knocked up. Now, uh, with uh, 464 data in there, I don't think we need to transfer the data. Let's just get Bob uh, continuing with his investigations. The three engines cost 1,690. Yeah, that's not much. Okay, he's back in. And it looks like he's already researching. Okay, good thing. Bob already got down to research right away. And it looks like his tail is facing the sun, so he's going to be all charged up. Okay. Alright, so uh, we'll let him continue. We got uh, more than 200 science from that jaunt. So yeah. 